Who's talking? Who's talking? Hello all, what's up? Hope you're good and welcome in a new vlog. So just to give you a little update, so I finished A Darker Shade of Magic with Dummy and I believe I'm gonna give it a three stars just because I feel like it was lacking a nice plot, like a plot from the beginning till the end. It was a little bit predictable as well, so I enjoyed it. I love the characters and I, I didn't care what would happen to them, but I care about what's gonna happen in the next two books. So I still wanna finish the series because I'm curious and I wanna know so I can make my own opinion. Another thing, I finished the fourth uh, season of Peaky Blinders, I loved it. So I have to wait till 2019 for the fifth season, but we'll see. But I loved it. So now I will probably gonna edit uh, my vlog and then I'm gonna Maybe start reading Ink by Alice Broadway because I need to do some reading. I mean, I need to read some stuff. I'm still in the news. I mean, in the middle of it. Who is your reading going? Are you doing good or mm, just like me or really bad? <laughs> you can admit it. It's just a game. So we're just having fun. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. And yeah, talk to you later. Hey Wolves, so little update, it's already 9 p.m. and I edit my video, I uploaded it and I feel like when I edit my video and upload it, I instantly go check other people's video and I feel like it's always the best time for me to catch up on a lot of videos and I feel like I haven't watched a lot of videos from Anna so Anna Francesca and I will put her channel down below she actually talks about her mental health and health conditions etc and it's really interesting because it's something a lot of people struggle with not exactly the same thing but we always forget that we are not alone and talking about it and especially nowadays with internet it doesn't matter if it's Instagram Twitter Facebook YouTube or whatever you can talk to people and I feel like we all need that we know that but we are not aware of that you know when you have a day you don't feel like 100% or you just don't feel yourself that day or you don't feel that good just saying someone hey listen today i'm not okay is one big step i think that's all i wanted to say you're not alone you can talk to anyone and even if you don't want to talk about it you can just say i'm not okay and that's okay not to be okay i will link her channel down below so you can check Hello all, so this is day 17 of the Nudes Readathon and I started ink like 20 minutes ago or something like that, 30 minutes, I don't know. I'm currently on page 50 out of 366. The letters are really big, like I mean the font is really big, so I, I don't think I will need like days to finish this book and 
actually I don't really know what it is about I mean plot wise but this is a story of people that live in a different society obviously this is a fantasy but let's say that they inked so they tattoo themselves uh, their tattoo tell their entire life so it means that once you're born, you're gonna get a tattoo of your name and then every little while when you do something good or whatever, you're gonna get a tattoo that will explain that. Let's say you have a child, you will have a picture of a child. You will get married, you will get a tattoo of your marriage, etc, etc. And then at the end when you die, they take off your skin and they make a book of it so the people I mean your family can remember you and you can be like immortal in some kind of way but for that they also have to wait your soul just to see if you're worth it or no so if you're not you're gonna burn I mean the book made of your skin will burn and if not you're gonna stay in the family house with everyone's skin it's really easy to read but just the fact that I don't know like the main character her father died and she has her father's skin like book skin or whatever and she turned the pages and she just reads his story and she touches his skin that freaks me out and I know some people will say, yeah, but when you're alive, you touch people's skin, when you say hello, or when you hug someone, etc. Okay, but this is dead skin, first. And second, I don't like when people touch me. So, knowing that once I will die, I will get touched by every member of my family or other people, just would freak me out. So, that's absolutely not for me. Like, I hate contact. Like, you cannot touch me. I mean, I learned to do with that, like kissing someone to say hello and stuff like that, but as less as possible. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm a freak, but whatever. Oh, you can see Mooney here. Always near mommy. So, yeah, but the cover is gorgeous. And I also have the second one. I have Spark upstairs and I believe there is a third one coming, but I'm not sure. Let me just check it immediately on my phone. Oh, she, okay. On her Instagram, she says that she's actually working on book three. So it's not even written. So we're all good. We're not missing anything. So, well, so I'm gonna get back to reading and I hope you're good. And I hope your reading is going okay or your gardening. I don't know what you're doing. So whatever you do, I hope you're doing it fine. Yeah, and that you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here because it doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> Talk to you later, Wells. It's 3 p.m. and look, I only have like 60 pages left, which is very impressive. I love the book, I love the story. It's very interesting and it's different from what I've read recently, like the old thing with the ink, the tattoos, etc. and that is a part of the society. No, I really love the concept and I'm yeah, we'll talk to you about it a bit later, but first I'm gonna take a break and play some of the Harry Potter game on my phone, just five minutes to take a break from reading because I've read like a lot.
So time for a little update. It's almost 8 p.m. And I finished this one and I really, really enjoyed it. Like it was such an easy read and fun. And it was kind of, uh, let's say, flat. But I don't mean it in a bad way. I just saying that it was a, a roller coaster uh, trip or whatever journey. I didn't feel that there were any tension at some point. It was really easy to read the book, to enjoy it. I love the character and I really care about her, about what's gonna happen. It's not action packed, but I really, really love the concept of all the tattoos and everything. So yeah, I will definitely read the second one. I wasn't sure if I was uh, going to read Harry Potter 2, so Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, or if I would go for A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, or whatever. And at the end, I made my mind and I'm going to read a book that wasn't on my TBR for the nudes. And as usual, you're not surprised. I mean, I cannot stick to a TBR. So I made my man and I'm actually going for a book that was sent uh, to me by Chuseiko through Netgalley. So thank you again for sending me the book. So I'm going to read Where Go by C.D. Bell. So this is a story of Nessa who um, is in high school, etc. And she needs a scholarship. So she's really into sports and into racing, etc. But she needs that scholarship. So she has to improve herself. And for that, she's going to try to train with a very good one, Cynthia. And they're going to decide to meet in a forest so they're gonna run together in the woods by night you know at the evening around 8 p.m something like that and this is gonna be attacked by a wolf and you know what's gonna happen she's gonna go through some changes and everything and you know life in high school is already tough so when you're becoming a werewolf it's even tougher so yeah so i've already read a third of the book and it's a book of almost 400 pages and i'm really enjoying it Oh, and I forgot to say, I'm reading it for Transfiguration, for my A for Transfiguration. And for that, you have to read the book with a gray cover. So you're going to see the cover over here. I believe maybe there are not, there is not much space, but over there. So it's mostly white, as you can see, but it has gray from the wolves. It's for Transfiguration, so that's perfect, right? <laughs> So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's not like, so far it's not the cliche of a werewolf or a girl going through changes and everything or a boy, whatever. So, so far it's so good. I'm really enjoying the writing style. It's simple, it's really realistic and the vocabulary is accessible to everyone. It's a YA fantasy, so of course it's gonna be accessible, but sometimes the world building is like crazy. But with the werewolves, I feel like you can more relate to it because it actually happens in a real world, you know, like our world, but with something magical. I don't know what I'm getting, but you know what I'm saying. Actually, you don't, but let's say you do. So, well, so I'm giving you a little update. So today is the 18th of the Redditon, I believe. So I went grocery shopping this morning, then I took a lot of pictures for my Instagram and I changed the feed. So I'm gonna change the feed of my Instagram. It's gonna be like different, like more texture. It's gonna be, it's always gonna be about books, but I'm gonna include other stuff, etc. I really, really, really hope you will enjoy it. But now it's, <sighs> almost 1 p.m. I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat yet but we'll see and definitely gonna make myself a coffee because I haven't had one like and I woke up at 7 so imagine my day but yeah so we'll do that
so a little update i just got back from a walk with mooney it's super hot i mean i'm hot it's like 20 degrees so it's okay but actually i'm hot right now so uh reading wise i have one third of the book left that's it and honestly i'm gonna buy the first book and the second book the third one is coming out in november i believe and this is honestly the best werewolf story i've ever read i love her so much i love the story i love the characters and i love how everything goes together like this is honestly the best werewolf story i've ever read about i think i'm gonna add the blog here for that period of time i mean for those three days and we saw fresh tomorrow okay for sure i'm gonna stop right now so wolves thank you for watching again i hope you enjoyed the video if you fancy joining the pack please don't forget to subscribe etc etc talk to me in the comment and take care see you soon bye